Good day. Shane here with Apex Custom Smokers with a video on how we coat our smokers with high temperature enamel paint. No matter what the project, the first step to painting anything is the prep work. I begin by masking anything not meant to get coated. These spring handles get the same three coats as the rest of the smoker. However, they're painted prior to the stainless steel spring handles being installed. We just spray bomb them with the aerosol version of the coating shown here. Once everything's masked off, a wire reel is used to take off all the brown silicone glass deposits. We then use a 120 grit flap disc to take off any BBs and weld batter before using a red 3M scotch Bright pad by hand to smooth the surface. Once finished with the scotch Bright, acetone is used to wipe the surface. As you can see, the first initial wipe takes off a lot of dirt and oil. We usually wipe it down at least three times, maybe four, to get the surface clean. This was the third wipe, a lot better than the first. Now it's time to mix the paint. We start by stirring the paint in the can to ensure it's properly emulsified. I put tape on the lip, as seen here, to prevent the paint from spilling over the side, wasting it. We use acetone to thin the enamel so it will properly atomize when sprayed from the HVLP gun. We found for this particular brand, a ratio of two to one works the best. That's two parts paint to one part acetone. In this instance, I used 200 mils of acetone and 400 mils of paint. And no spills, no waste. Stir well before using a paint strainer to add it to the spray gun. We use a 190 micron strainer and then it's paint time. I do a very light flash coat initially and wait 10 minutes or so for it to tack up before doing the first full coat. I do that initial flash coat to help prevent running or sagging. This isn't like spraying lacquer or urethane. High temp enamel is a different beast completely. It will run, but isn't as susceptible to it as the previously mentioned lacquer or urethane. My shop is heated, so I never spray a smoker in a less than 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees American environment. As you can see, I take my time during the first full coat. I get a nice thick coat on everything before stopping and letting it dry a bit. The flash time or time it takes for the acetone to evaporate is what I mean by drying. The coating itself isn't drying, just to be clear. With high temp enamel, you know your coating has flashed off when you can touch it and it feels tacky, sticky, but not wet. This time varies as there are a few factors that come into play. Ambient temperature, ventilation, coating thickness, there is no set time to wait. But in this particular case, it was about 45 minutes, give or take, between coats. I should also mention, unlike other paints, this high heat enamel doesn't need a super warm environment to spray. However, the cooler it is, the longer it takes to flash off as well as to dry after finishing. The casters on this unit are our shop casters, which is why they're not masked off. I put the real casters on once everything is done.
The second and third coats look exactly the same as the first, so I won't bother showing them. After the third or final coat, I use a light to go over the unit to check for any spots that were missed or touched with the air hose or myself. It rarely happens, but does on occasion, so I always check to make certain. The next day, it's unmasking time. Personally, my most favorite part of the paint process. Taking the tape off, revealing a nice, crisp line with no bleeding, no running. Next, the final step, setting the paint. I use this 65,000 BTU propane burner inside my smokers to set the paint. I let it burn, depending on the season, anywhere from half an hour to 45 minutes in the summer to an hour plus in the winter and cooler months. Anyways, hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Apex Custom Smokers, out.